Hi, my name is Keith Scholes, and I'm Director of Product Strategy for Enterprise One. Today, I am going to introduce you to OneV Reporting, which is our new operational reporting solution focused on end users. We're all very excited about OneV Reporting and the value it will bring to our customers. OneV Reporting includes delivered content in the form of built-for-purpose query applications and reports, as well as a foundation that allows end users to run reports, create personalized reports, and share reports over any JD Edwards data, including custom Enterprise One tables. In this demo, I'm going to show the ease of running OneView reports. I'll use two examples, both in the area of accounts receivable. The first example is tailored to a receivables clerk, and the other one will be tailored to a receivables manager. Lastly, I'm going to show how easy it is to create a personalized report. Let's start out by looking at OneView reports. Now, let's say I'm a receivables clerk, and I need to review open balances for customers I am responsible for. So I'm here in Enterprise One in the home page for Applications 9.1. I have as a favorite my OneView application, my Customer Ledger and Query application. Now, I favorited this because this is a report that I, I – this is an application and a report that I, I run every day. So I'll just click on that application. I'm also going to minimize my carousel for the rest of this demo as I, I really won't need it anymore. Now, as you'll see, the OneView application actually loaded some data when I entered it. And really the, what's driving that is just the query. I have a saved query up here. And I run this, like I mentioned, I run this customer balances report every day. And so I've set this up to be my default query and to execute a find every time I come into this application. Now, as you'll see on the upper left in the toolbar, there is a new icon, a OneView icon. Now, if I click on OneView, you can see there's some, there's a list of reports and then some actions down here. Now, all actions that you are going to be able to take from um, Enterprise One for one view reporting are all going to be uh, based on this icon, whether you're going to add reports, change reports, um, or, uh, or do other personalization and, and management of reports. They're all going to be off of this icon. So for right now, let's just click Customer Balances, and it's that simple to execute a one view report. Now, right now, the report is rendering. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see with the screen resolution, but there are multiple elements or multiple um, uh, parts to this report. On top here, I have a chart that is uh, balances by customer. And if I scroll down, I also have a customer balance detail table that holds uh, invoices, open invoices uh, for each of those customers. Now, I'll go back up to the top and look at this chart. This is actually interactive. Uh, report, uh, which is uh, what all of our shipped uh, uh, reports for OneView are all set to be interactive. And what I mean by that is I can hover over uh, something in this chart like Creek Corporation, and I can see the value uh, of, uh, of open invoices uh, for a Creek Corporation. The other thing I can do is I can actually click on that, and what that does is it acts as a filter. So I've clicked on Creek, and now I've filtered everything else that's in this report uh, by Creek Corporation. If I go down to my table, I've got a list of open invoices, but only for Creek Corporation. This will become more value as, valuable as, as you see some of the other types of reports that we have. Now, I can also interact with the table down here. Let's say that I want to see the highest invoices first. I can simply click on Open Amount, and I can do Sort Descending, and now my highest invoices are shown first. I can also do further filter criteria, maybe if I want to choose all invoices on a certain invoice state. All right, that's a nice look at this uh, very simple report. I'm going to go back to my Enterprise One application now. So next, we're going to look at a little bit different use case. Uh, I'll assume the role of Receivables Manager. So I run customer account balance analysis report to gain insight into key indicators for my organization. So 
this is a common report as I, that I run as a manager. So I have a saved query defined for it as well. So if I go up here to my queries, I can pull up my customer account balance analysis query. And it's set also to, to do an automatic find. But let's take a look at that. I want to show just a little bit of detail on saved query so you can understand the power that's built into this solution. So as you can see, I have values down here. I've selected company equal to value of fiscal year equal to single value, and then period and customer are in kind of a list. What you might not have seen before is the ability to have these operands like equals not equal to greater than less than in a list or things like not equal to starts with contains all of those so instead of choosing uh, just a single value or, or all I can I can very precisely define the data that I want to see and this is uh, an element that's available with uh, 9.1 in the area of query capability so let me minimize that this report, I also need to enter some aging information. So I'm going to enter an, an as of date and aging uh, because my report is, is uh, very comprehensive. Now I go back over to my one view icon. I've entered my criteria. Now all I need to do is come down and select my report, my customer account balance analysis report. And I click on that and now that report will render. And as you'll see, this is a, a much more comprehensive type of report that's really geared toward getting, giving a, a broader view of Enterprise One data. Really uh, gives you a great look of what's going on in your organization. So myself as a, as a receivables manager, I can look across my collection managers and I can see which collection manager has the highest overdue amounts. If I scroll down, I can see I have open amounts by regions, I got top 10 payers by open amount, top 10 customers by open amount. Further down, I can see open amount by credit manager. I've got gross uh, versus open by period. And then I have my uh, aging by collection manager and aging by customer. And then finally at the bottom, of course, I, I have my data table, which supports all of those um, uh, charts and graphs up above. Now, we have also have in this report, we have lists. So I put a list in as a category code where I store branches. So if I want to look and see um, the, uh, how the Dallas branch is doing, I can click on Dallas, and all of the rest of the data in my report will reflect that filter. Now, I can scroll down, and maybe I want to see, okay, within the Dallas branch, I've got my customer with the highest open amount is Pacific Company. I can click on Pacific Company. Now everything in the report is filtered by Dallas branch and Pacific Company. So I, get, I can get very specific on the information that is shown in the report. And then finally, I have my data table to support that. And of course, I could do any manipulation like I showed before with that data table. So these reports are very, very interactive. They hold a ton of content, provide a lot of value to users. So let me close this report, go back to our application. As you can see, one view reports are very powerful and easy to use. But I want my own personalized report that shows discount and open amount by customer. As you can imagine, this is very common where your users are going to want to be able to create the report that they want to look exactly the way that they want it, and they want it now. So let's take a look at how easy that is. So I go over to my OneView icon. I click on that. I go down to Add Reports. I click on Add Reports. And now I'm able to select the columns that I want to include in my report. So I have clicked a selected customer number. And I also want to select customer name. So I select that. And let's look for uh, open amount and discount amount. Now I simply save that and give that a name. I'll call this uh, open versus discount.
Now I am able to define how I want the layout to look for this report, so I click on Add New Layout. I choose a template. I have some pre-built templates here that I have one that has a chart and a table, so I click on that for Enterprise One. Now I'm in the layout editor where I can very easily uh, define the layout. So I'm going to click on the chart, and I'm going to grab open amount and a discount amount, and I'm going to show that by customer. And then I have a table, and in the table I am going to show customer, open amount, and discount amount. And let's see, I am going to do some grouping. So let's, let's group on customer. So I select uh, group left. And I'll do subtotaling by customer. And then let's say I also want to format these amounts. So we'll format my amounts to be uh, numbers. And we'll do the uh, subtotals as well, same way. And my report totals as well. Now I also might want to put some type of conditional formatting where I say, I want to see any discount that is greater than, say, $150. So I'll select on conditional formatting, and I'll say for discount available, if it is greater than $150, we're going to bold that amount, and we'll make, we'll make it uh, red so that we can see those. And then let's give our our table a description. We'll call that um, uh, open invoices. And maybe we'll just bold that. We could make it a different color or a different size, but we'll just keep it small. And then I'll look at the chart and we'll give a chart title as well. So I go to chart title, and we're going to call that customer balances. And let's see, then finally we can do a report title. And the report title, we'll just call that open versus discount. Now, let me fix that. And for the chart title, I think we want to make that larger. We'll make it bold, and we'll make it, say, 20 points, something like that. We'll put that in the middle. And then lastly, let's put a timestamp on our report so that we know when this was run. So we'll drag time over here, and I think we should be ready. So now all I need to do is save this. And we'll exit out. Now I'm back in my E1 application. If I go back to that OneView icon, I click on that, and I look, and now under my personal reports here, I have a new report called Open versus Discount. This is what we just created. So if I click on that report, it should uh, bring up that report that we just defined. And there it is. So what did that take? Uh, maybe three to four minutes. Uh, you know, it, it, it's very easy to create this nice, simple little report. I was able to create this the way I wanted it to look. I've got my conditional formatting. I've, I've got my uh, uh, subtotaling, and my, uh, I've got my interactivity, all of the things that you'd want in a report, and I was able to do that in a very short order. So I think you can see how users will get immediate value from 1D reporting. No more having to wait for IT to build the report for me. I have the information I need when I need it exactly the way I want to see it. The purpose-built applications and reports combined with the ease of creating personalized reports over any JDE data 
really is a game changer for end users. Now, if you want more information, please go to oracle.com and uh, take a look at JD Edwards Enterprise One One View Reporting. Thank you.